Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to draw something like this. Not saying that you will ever draw this, but just maybe give you some ideas. And I'm going to use quite a few tools. And the first tool I'm going to use is the spiral tool, which is underneath your polygon flyout. I'm going to hold down the control button and get a perfect spiral. Now I'm going to take this and change it from a hairline like to 16 points. I'm going to go to object and convert the outline to an object. And then I'm going to left click no fill and right click outline. I'm going to take this and I'm going to control D and I'm going to mirror it both ways. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to grab that four sided cross, what I call it an X. And it looks pretty good. I think I hit it right on. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line. That, and then I'm going to take the smart fill tool, set on any color. I'm going to go and just pick that blue. And what that did, that made a new object. So that is one solid object where these are two objects. So I'm just going to delete these two. I'm going to go ahead and hit P and you'll see it stays together. Now you can do a numerous things with this. <clears throat> I'm going to grab the interactive fill tool and I'm going to select kind of from the middle, go outwardly and then grab the elliptical and I'll have to put it in the center. Let me zoom in here a little bit, grab the interactive fill tool again. And now let's change some colors. Let's put this in orange. Let's put a yellow and I'm just going to bring it over to the line and just snap it to that line. You can see that plus sign. And then I'm going to add maybe another blue right here. And at some point it's going to make your, your first blue kind of change. So you bring this in and have a little bit more blue. I am going to take away the outline. So I just have colors. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab this with the twirl tool. And you can see I've got it quite a bit larger. I don't need it that big. In this case, I'm going to go 20 inches. I got it almost all. I'm going to go ahead and go 22. I don't really think it matters. And because you've got it selected, you've got an X. And then I'm going to click on it and then have it twirl. And you could do it more or less, whatever you want to do. Now, that doesn't look that impressive. Let's make it a little bit smaller now. But when you... Put a black box around it. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a black box by left clicking the mouse. Go up to object, order, back of page. Look how it pops out now. Now another tool you can use is to grab that item, control D and make a duplicate. And you don't have to hold down the control button and make a perfect copy. And you could actually smush this up a little bit, but I'm not going to. Then kind of make it look like it's faded. I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab the transparency docker and I'm going to make it transparent a little bit just by sliding the bar. It kind of makes it look like a reflection, but a true reflection wouldn't be maybe as crisp. So I'm going to go to effects, blur and Gaussian blur and blur it just a little bit. I'm not even going to change anything. And now you've got that item. Now, the, the way I did this one, I'm just going to take it and see how it looks so much different with that, the black. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, and I'm going to move the back up here, double click on the rotation so you get the rotation, and I'm going to rotate it like right there. I'm going to rotate it 120 degrees and then control D again. Now, that particular, and I, I don't think it's as good as my first one, but let's look at the difference when I put a black box around it. Go up to object, order, back up. This is the way it would be looking if it was on a black t-shirt. Not that so you would ever draw that, but using a lot of tools, you get that effect. I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.